As you all know, I'm a big fan of Field Runners 2, and today I think it's time to take on the frying pan again. Not many of you, well, many of you that haven't played Field Runners 2 probably won't know what I'm on about. The frying pan is, well, my favourite tower defence level made, really. Um, it's over in the lava flow world, and currently I've only got two stars on it. Now, today, I'm going for free. <laughs> what tools shall I use? Well, of course, the missile tower. Big fan of this one. Um, we'll use the oil to slow them down, I think. The railgun, if I can get enough money, that is going to be the one that helps me do this, really. The spark tower... It's okay, it'll get rid of some of them at the start when I'm not really focusing on, but... Whoa. And, you know what? I'm going to try this with... Without any items. Yes. Right. Friendship is magic. Really? Grow your own friends. It's an interesting concept. Loading. Just turn the volume up a tiny bit. Right. Let's see how I do. So, zoom in. And what I always try to do on this one is make a loop because loops are your best friend in this game. So, let's begin. Da, da, da. Pretty easy at the beginning. What I'm going to try and do is get them to loop around this little bridge here. Then come over and go down the hot lava loop inside this bridge. Go underneath. Loop around here. Come back. Go over the lava bit again. And then in the, in the little hole back home. That's the plan. Let's see if it works out. Oh, speeding up a bit and they're getting around one side. So I need to start getting this loop together pretty fast. I'm just going to use machine guns at the moment. Oh, balls. Two have got through. Oh, the guy's got them. I'm just going to use machine guns at the moment to map it all out and then I'll go back, back and make it more powerful once it's mapped out. I know generally you should try and kill them all as quick as you can, but I like to map out where I'm going and then upgrade when it suits. Speed back up I think. Add some more towers up here, so we're doing pretty well. They are uh, not troubling me too much. Coming for the fire, but I mean, these little runners on the fire don't last long. So. It's going pretty well. Oop. Yep, I'm getting quite a lot of them now. So, we'll cut off this side and that side. So, they have to go under the bottom. And then we'll loop it back over. And move that one. Put it there, and then I can make more, more of a path for them to go around. See, so then we're looping down to here. Now I've not actually worked out a way to get them on these flames down here. So what I do is just block it up nicely, and then put two lasers at the bottom to fire up. It's proved pretty pretty powerful so far. So we'll go for that idea again. These are, I'm not seeing any of the while where I've been zoomed in so I must be doing alright with the just mapping it out idea. But round 15 it's gonna start getting a bit more difficult now. I mean that guy's 
running like crazy. I'm just gonna pause it while I build a bit more of the uh, the area up. Just because if he's running, he's gonna avoid my great little designs. Oops. So these guys are flame resistant, so when it gets to this top area up here, it, that does not affect them. This is why I need the loop, I can't just rely on directing them over lava to kill them. So. so if we just look at the path at the moment, I've got a nice loads of little loops down the whole left side of the map, and now I'm going to work on the right side. Once all my maps are made, then I'm going to start upgrading from the start again. And put some lasers in and stuff that affects more than one person at a time. So not to waste the spaces that I have left. So we're going to go down the middle and we're going to come back up. Make them go over here. catching the slowdown, sorry about that. Right, so we're gonna go under the bridge. Go on your little, they're like little ants really when you look at this size. Except they're not carrying food. They're coming to destroy you which is a bit worrying. Now, it's a strange concept but if you're in a wall why would you put a ridiculously sized rocket on top of a car and not expect it to blow up? It's just, just silly. Right, so, path's looking pretty good right now. Gonna throw in some more towers, and now that's my path. The path that has taken me to success many times on this game. So now, once that has been created, I'm gonna start filling in some of these empty gaps, upgrading, near the start and generally making it more dangerous because we don't want people surviving so I'm going to keep some machine guns near the beginning they're a good deterrent because I mean if I saw a machine gun I'd, I'd probably run the other way to be honest I mean this is no war game this is some serious business right here right. God, them beef guys are here. Uh, yes. Do, do, do. Uh, let's just follow them around and see how far we're getting. See, so they're not even getting in the tunnel. Oh, nope, they're not even getting in the tunnel yet, which is good. Now, what I'm going to do, I think, is wait and then put one of these little, like, I can't remember what they're called, like diamond ones. Diamond ones. Right near the start, so it takes out a lot of coverage. Okay, so they're taking quite a bit of damage already just from just from having one of these spark towers. As you can see, spark towers are effective near uh, near bridges, which is what I'm planning to do. Because I'm, gonna, I'm planning to put one here. And probably one here as well. Oh no, I'll probably play there actually because I've already upgraded that tower. So I don't really want to be wasting all the money that I put into it. But I'm going to upgrade this first. Because these are very effective when you've got a couple of them all overlaid. As you can see, runners are getting through now. So I've just got to keep an eye and be careful. This guy, I think this guy's gonna make it. This is where I really needed some items where I could just throw a little bomb under him or something like that. But at the moment, I didn't have any money to give it a go. So, trying it without. If I get it done correctly and I don't make too many mistakes and placing and wasting money that way, then I should be alright. But depends how that goes really. I'm in quite a bit of cash now, so I'm gonna put another one there. 
because you see the paths are overlining it's proven quite effective. I'll upgrade this. Well, no. If you notice in the top right, the bomb is nearly ready. What I tend to do is wait until either a guy's almost through and I can't stop him, or when there's a ridiculous amount of airborne. But on this map, there is no airborne threats. It's all tanks, missiles, your little runner guys, stuff like that. So what's good is I tend to use that as my safety item. They're not affecting me really here, so see I've got a bit of a triangle going on, power in this corner. So that'll slow them down and take off quite a bit of their health, which is good. See even the even the little runner guys are struggling. What I've not done yet is tried to slow them down because what I'm going to do is the gap between the two machine guns in the middle of the screen, I think I'm going to slow them down there. And then I can get like a maximum area where they're all just going ridiculously slow. So actually, I'm going to try that now. If I can slow them down near here, then I'm getting quite a lot of damage from my three most powerful towers that I've got so far. And then if I slow them down this top corner, then when they're coming up and going across the bridge, they're also going to get slowed down inside it. Hopefully with this combination, should be able to take out quite a lot of them. So it's proven quite strong now, which is good. I'm going to try putting another one of these up here because it's got quite a lot of area again. Basically I'm trying to get rid of as many of them on this little cross bridge because that's where it's most effective. Um, in small loops is always the best way I'm filming. Um, and then just generally hope that they don't get anywhere near. It's not going too well. Uh, too bad, sorry. Um, Halfway through, near enough, I've lost one life, and they're looking quite powerful, my towers now. See, now, this may look like a waste, but when it gets near the end again, it will stop them. So any of them little, crazy little fast runners may actually die on the line. I think what I'm going to do is try one more here and then after that go to upgrading and making things like these. To be honest actually I might pull a laser there and it gets them across the top of the tower. I know I've already upgraded that but I've just thought about it so I'm going to try it in a second and I might put a laser there actually. Although when they go past, no that's not when they go past it's going to shoot off and it will be a waste so I'll probably put a laser above there and has that one. Where's this guy going? This isn't very good really, there's a tank and there's not much defence left really for it to go through. So I'm going to have to think about upgrading more than just the start area really. You never know, it might get destroyed, but with the run of play it's got left. I'm not sure it will be to be honest. Can only hope. But to be honest, I might put a rocket put a rocket here. Might be my saving grace. Nope, got free. But not without trying to do I'll just upgrade my rocket launcher while I'm there because if any more get through, the more powerful rocket launcher I've got is probably gonna probably gonna save me from some terrible disaster. Alright, just pause it. 
get rid of this guy and throw a laser over the top of the bridge. It doesn't look like it's doing very much damage, but it is. The little guy's really running for it today. See, the problem you have once you try and heroic is really you get a lot more defensive, as in they can stand a lot more damage. So sometimes mapping it out isn't always the best plan. And... But I think, no, I think I might do alright. I'm not worrying too much yet. I've still got 18 lives, over halfway through. Quite a lot of them are actually struggling. Sorry about that. Getting through, I'm gonna get destroyed. Well, he says that, but they've all got through. Not to worry. Don't reckon a runner can survive against that many machine guns, a laser. And a rocket launcher, so it's my right. oh, Look at them just firing off. I love that about Phil Runner You actually get the animation of the guys getting thrown off the bike and stuff. These cars are probably one of my favourite. Um, well, bad guys, so to speak, in the game. You actually destroy the car, and then all the field winners come at you. I just think it's great. Like a multi, multi threat. It's great. See, the best thing against them sort of multi threats is a railgun, but I've not got one yet because if I save up to get one now, I'm just going to be so overwhelmed with enemies. It's going to be untrue because I won't have enough defense. To keep up with what level I'm actually sat on. So I've sort of got to be careful of how I play this out, really. Although I would really like a railgun. I think what I'm going to do is try and save for a railgun, and if I'm struggling, I'll just pause, build some towers because I think that's going to be the best way to do this. I'm not that far off it, I mean, I might get one. Oh. Actually, I think I can. I'll put it here. And that first section is still a major threat. And it's also going to cover most of the left side and coming into the exit, which is good. And then what the tanks? They don't know what's here. They'll go. Bam! You go. Can't wait to upgrade that. I don't think I can right now, I'm going to have to get some more defence, I think. See, the problem with machine guns is, they all target one person, and once he gets destroyed, they'll move on to someone else. But the whole time, they'll look at the person that's in the front. What would be great is if you could choose and set some machine guns to shoot forward, and some machine guns to shoot the tanks that are at the back, but as of yet that feature isn't available. As I see, they're not, they're not getting in here. My, my railgun's proven real strong. Got 30. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna turn that into one of these. Level 54 with 18 lives, I think this is going pretty well. The next 20 are going to be killers really, because the progression of power the enemies have is just unreal. And 
gonna see so many just sneaking through right now. It's gonna be pretty annoying, pretty bad, but it's also fun. Been away from me. I think I'm just gonna call this the, the purple zone. Well, the pinky purple zone. <laughs> it's just proven so powerful, it just needs like cement in it history. Because this is so powerful, I'm actually getting enough money to upgrade my railgun, which is really good. The more of these, because obviously if you look, Railgun, 850 damage per second. The more I can get of these, the better chance I've got of completing this map on heroic with no items. So it's firing level 2. It's actually pleasing me to see the fact that they're not going around much of the map anymore. Saying that, these little tanks do. Because they're just, I'm sure they're just a bullet in a box, they're just so powerful. But, uh, yeah, he didn't survive, but you see what I mean about the machine guns, just targeting the one that's at the front. I'd really love that feature because what I'd do is probably set some near the front that were always at the back. So like this guy here would just face whoever came out and this guy would face the guy in front. And then you get in more of a more of a balance between how much damage is being made. 40. Now do I risk taking out another machine gun and replacing it with one of the uh, Square blasters. Getting some bigger tanks in for it, so I really need to hope I can get enough money to upgrade my rail. Saying that though, I've not put my lasers down, but that was a bad mistake. I've not put my laser down here, which usually is quite strong actually, so throw Hopefully I can get rid of some of this tank damage before they get under the ground because that's really, once they get under the ground I'm a bit screwed because all my defence is on the first section and that's just the way I played it out, it's, I made that mistake but it's one of them where I could just press fire right now and wipe them all out but I'm going to go for it. See how good these guys really are. See if they can earn their tea tonight because if they can't, machine guns down here can replace. Bye bye. Speed it up. Because these tanks are just the slowest things you've ever seen in your life. If I was going into a war, you'd probably be able to have team crumpets before you even got there if you were driving one of these. Although I was saying that though, I don't want them much faster. It's easier to defend when they're slow. Now I've got 50. I could put another laser next to that one, or shall I save for the railgun? 20 levels to go. Ideally, I want to upgrade that railgun. But, just depends what comes out next. See how this round goes. If I get enough of the railgun, I'll do that. If I don't, I'm going to have to get another laser. Tough one. Tough one. What is going to come up in this one? Let's see what's going on. So we've got the guys and they're ridiculously side fighting. And we have got enough to upgrade the round. Great news. Great, great news. Railgun is just ridiculously powerful. Basically like an artillery. One of them hits you, you know. Well guys have got no chance against it, so it needs machine guns to focus in on what what's stronger and what needs destroying, which is good. Put 
playable laser down here. Just because they always have two lasers there, I think, as they're coming down. I'm not really getting much to destroy them with because the machine guns are focusing on other things. So it just means they're getting a bit more damage. Because I want to be more of a constant friend than a threat. I don't want them to have an area where they're not getting destroyed. It would just be a waste of space. So my next rail gun is probably going to go next to the rocket launcher on the right. If I can afford them with one so I can finish upgrading my lasers. I've got 18 lives left and just over 10 levels. I actually think I might be able to do this. Saying that though, looking at what's coming out now, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit hairy. I am two lasers are now maxed out, it's all about the railgun now. It's looking pretty strong. Might just put another purple one up there in a minute. And of course I've got my little fire button right so these guys are these guys are doing nothing. Some underneath or some sort of weapon that moved so that you could attack them on the bottom, but it's kind of good really that you can do that because you can do a lot more crossovers, which is probably the most effective way of destroying them. You just get so much use out of your weapons. Eight more to go. If I lose this, I'll be ridiculously shocked. I mean, like, uber ridiculously shocked. Just look at them, points pouring out now. Four levels to go, what is going on? Million score. These guys are doing nothing. I can almost afford another railgun. Three railguns in 80 levels, that is ridiculous when I've not even been focusing on them. I mapped out my whole game first. Oh, I hope these little guys don't get through. I'll just be embarrassing. Don't want to fire on 
fucking little tanks like that. It's got to be something like worth firing. Come on, railgun on the right needs to sort this out. It's not doing a fair, fair bad job really. The laser and machine gun are going to help him, but the rocket launcher will too, so... I'm not worried, because I don't think that little guy is going to get close. I'll do I put my railgun up here or down there. I think I'll put it up here. Making that first section even more dangerous. Like ridiculously dangerous. I like can almost afford an upgrade on the railgun. That is how many enemies are coming through right now. To just pouring in and getting just obliterated. I think it's going to be the right word here. Absolutely owning against them guys now. It's ridiculous. Great. Two levels to go. We're throwing in the cars with all the guys here. And because I've got rail guns, it's not that effective. I'm blowing up the car and blowing up all the guys at once. It just shows if you can afford the heavy guns, get them. Because they're just so powerful. To be honest, my top weapons are probably the six you see at the bottom. If you've got them, you can pretty much win any level. It's just a case of finding the right layout, placing them at the right time. And if you're not too good at that, you can always use the rewind items. Go back three levels, fix whatever you did wrong. Three rail guns, fully upgraded, and I could still just press fire on this right now. I'm gonna like run through because, to be honest, I think I've got, got it sorted here. Just as a bit of an insult to injury, I'm gonna upgrade everything until I run out of money or whatever guys. Don't know if I'm gonna do endless yet. I might try it, I might give it a go. I might just celebrate in the glory that is <laughs> this amazing feat. <laughs> Three tanks to go. Almost there. Two to go. Come on. Go on. Burn, baby, burn. You got two rail guns on you, you're not gonna survive, guy. The final guy. The final troop. Let's watch his final moments. Two rail guns pounding into him. Perfect round. Victory. Finish. Bam. Heroic. The frying pan. I feel so powerful right now. Look at that score just beautiful absolutely beautiful and of course the loading screen shown as another tip which I showed you in game then if you click on a towers question mark you get the information get it the frying pan three stars just happily sat there and I think that's the right place to leave this so thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe I hope you enjoy field runners as much as I do. Can you get heroic on the frying pan?